Welcome to another cultural event of the first South Asian Festival of South Countries. Tonight we have great pleasure in presenting two artists of the same generation from Pakistan and India. Adnan Samiha from Pakistan and Yu Srinivas from India. They have both popularized in the subcontinent instruments that are essentially Western. Adnan Samiha, the electric piano, and Yu Srinivas, the mandolin. Today, the name Adnan Samiha symbolizes a new form of Eastern classical music. He is not only responsible for introducing a new instrument, the electric piano, into the realms of Eastern classical music, but is also credited for starting a new wave in subcontinental music. Adnan Samiha and his electric piano are welcomed with great enthusiasm around the world. Apart from being one of the top keyboard players in the world, he is also recognized in the Asian subcontinent as an innovative music composer and vocalist. Apart from numerous television appearances on Pakistan television, Adnan Samiha has made television appearances in Great Britain, Portugal, Yugoslavia, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Nepal, and Maldives. He has represented Pakistan in many music festivals and events around the world. In 1986, Adnan Samiha was given an award by UNICEF for writing a song for peace. In the same year, he was commissioned to write a musical concerto for the president of the UAE. He has performed for many heads of state, including the president of France, king of Jordan, prime minister of Pakistan. He is touring throughout the year, bringing his music closer to audiences in different parts of the world. His phenomenal style of playing, along with lightning speed, has earned him the name Wizard, and he is said to be the fastest keyboard player in the world. He has been accompanied by world-renowned percussionists. In 1992, Adnan Samiha received the National Cultural Award. He has been teaching classical music on Pakistan television for some time. He was declared the keyboard discovery of the 90s by the prestigious American magazine called Keyboard. Tonight, Adnan Samiha is accompanied on the tabla by our very own artist, Shafat Ahmed Khan. Son of Chama Khan of the Delhi Karana. Shafat Khan needs no introduction. He's one of the topmost tabla players of India, and he has accompanied various artists of international repute all over the world. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, presenting Adnan Samiha and his electric piano. Accompanying him on the tabla, India's Shafat Khan.
very good evening to everyone. I'd like to uh, start off by saying that uh, I feel uh, privileged to be participating in the first South Asian festival for Sark countries, Sark countries. And I feel that this is the dawn of a new era where we shall be able to have use this particular platform to have cultural exchange and interaction between artists of the Sark countries. And I would also like to say that I'm, I was very happy when it was proposed by my government, Pakistan, and, and the Indian government that in the spirit of Sark, myself and Ustad Shafat Ahmed Khan should play together in the spirit of Sark with the intention of creating harmony together. And uh, it's been wonderful uh, going all over India and I'm particularly excited about Delhi as everyone is. And uh, to start with, I would like to I would like to start off with a raga called Yemen. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
<clears throat> Thank you very much. Um, well, there was a slight power of failure, which almost failed my heart, <laughs> you know? Um, but uh, because what happens is that I'd like to, in the meantime, tell you... In the meantime, I'd like to tell you something about my, my instrument, the electric piano. Um, <clears throat> why the electric piano and not any other instrument? I mean, especially an instrument from this part of the world. Basically because, uh, because I can't play any other instrument, <laughs> is the truth. <laughs> and uh, well, I'm basically a pianist. I, I, I carry the keyboards more for their convenience because the piano is very difficult to transport around. And uh, the electric piano, the piano in general, I would like to say is I feel that uh, the piano is one of the most versatile instruments in the world. The reason being that it has managed to it has managed to stay with us for many centuries. It has managed to lend itself to Western classical music in the beginning. Um, It's managed to lend itself to Western classical music. Um, it was there, it was used in this particular form. It was there. Then times changed, music changed, but it was, the piano was still there. You had jazz, you had, you had ragtime music, you had Dixie music. The piano was still there. The technique basically changed. You took away all the sustain, and you had a very honky-tonk, a very uh, jazzy kind of a piano in this form. I felt that uh, I, I wanted to, since I was fascinated by, by, uh, by Eastern classical music, I wanted to play it also. And uh, it was too late for me to start another instrument. And so therefore I began, I decided to stick to my, my instrument. I did some research and uh, discovered that the piano belongs to the same musical family as the santur, which comes from Kashmir. And um, so I decided that I wanted to listen and study the techniques of the santur. And for this, uh, Pandit Shiv Kumar Sharmaji was very, very helpful to me. He, um, he told me, since you know, he's the father of the santur, um, he told me a lot of the intricacies of the technique of the santur. And uh, I then listened to that and uh, got a hold of my instrument saw what were the peculiarities of my instrument, combined them with certain, uh, combined them with the, the, the techniques of the santur, and then we came up with this, basically came up with the sound that you heard just now. Um, however, um, I would also like to today play you something that uh, I, I, I composed, which is a bit of a fusion between Western classical, a uh, piece that I had written, and uh, uh, Eastern classical music from the subcontinent, and uh, that it goes something like this. Thank you.
try another one. I'm really being very rebellious tonight. <laughs> If you just give me uh, a minute or so. Sorry, yes, I will. Um, basically, uh, I use the sound of the electric piano from, from this instrument. This, most of these are, um, well, Japanese uh, instruments, this one being an American one. And um, various other sounds I, I, I take from uh, this particular instrument that you're going to hear. Very, it has some very nice wind instruments, uh, sound with wind instruments. And uh, <coughs> my control nerve unit is, is over here. My, I have drums, I have sound processors, I have mixers, I have a hard disk drive also. And um, now the next, uh, the next particular piece that I wish to play for you is, uh, you see, one, one major question that comes in when you're, playing, uh, when you're playing this particular instrument is that how can you, how can you, uh, how can you tackle the question of mind and kamak, which is a very major part of, of our music. And uh, well, I've devised uh, a method of of trying to solve this this question, and uh, I would like to um, through this next piece um, try and ex exhibit what uh, the potential of mean and kamak is in, through these particular instruments.
that was the wizard on the electric piano from Pakistan. Adnan Sami Khan was accompanied on the tabla by Shafat Khan of India. We now present to you, you Srinivas on the mandolin. concert with a prayer song on Lord Ganesha in the Ragam Begada, set to Rupakthala in the composition of Muthu Swami Dikshitar. The song name is Vallabhanayaka Sri.
ಟಿಲ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈಂಟ್ ತ್ಯಾಗರಾಜ ನಾದಾತ ನಮನಿಸಿ ದಿರಾಗ ಅಕ್ಕರಂಜನಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಟು ಆದಿತಾನ in the composition of g n bal subramanyam in the ragam amartya bhag set to aditalam the song name is kamala charane Thank mm-hmm. you. 
the composition of Saint Jagaraja Swami in the Ragam Bahudari, set to Aditala. Song name is Prabhabharama.
ಮತ್ತು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪುರಂದರ ದಾಸ ಜಗದೋದ್ಧಾರಣ ದಿ ರಾಗ್ ಕಾಪಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಟು ಆದಿ ತಾಲ composition of swati tirunal is face for ragam sindhu bhairavi rupakatala 